Hello friends, this is Dr. Shippop. I'm at a kind of an interesting part of the lake here. This is, uh, this is near the boathouse. The boathouse is over that way, appropriately labeled boathouse. And this is Lakeshore Drive heading toward 287, so you're going to hear some traffic. Uh, and over this way, there's a bench where people have been sitting and probably fishing and there's a little fire pit over here and stuff. And today I'm going to talk with you a little bit about the healing sensibility. This is the notion that there's an actual mindset, an actual personality that is the healing personality. And you're going to see this if you uh, start reviewing some of the materials that are going to come from me in hopefully a few short weeks, including the new book, new website, etc. So here's my notion. Healers have some personality traits that they almost universally share. People who I define as healers are simply those who make people feel better. That's it. And if they have these five traits, they have a tendency to be very warm, very inviting, very loving. And so I'm going to list what these five traits are for you. The first is openness. That is an openness to new experience, not a closed mindedness, not a rigidness, but a flexibility. The second is helpfulness. It makes total sense, right? That healers would be helpful people. They look for the opportunity to be of use to another human being, another animal. They look for ways to be of assistance. The next characteristic is gratefulness. I've talked a lot about this with a lot of you. Gratitude is incompatible with anger, worry, or sadness. You cannot feel grateful and those other states at the same time. Grateful people, according to researcher Barbara Fredrickson, also broaden and build their connections with others. This is uh, in connection with her research on other positive emotional states. So by broadening, she says you're widening your circle. A grateful person widens his or her circle by being grateful. The behavior of showing gratitude. And by building, that just means that the grateful person builds relationships that are pre-existing into better relationships, deepening the connection through grateful action. The next characteristic is enthusiasm, or alternatively, I will use the word exuberance. Enthusiasm means being filled with inspiration, being filled with joy, about what they do. And I also see the exuberant person as somebody who is filled with that kind of enthusiasm. So I see them as almost synonymous. But I like enthusiastic because uh, the, the uh, root of the word enthusiasm is entheos. It means in the divine, in God. And I see the enthusiastic person as filled with the divine sense of what is possible. And I love that. The last characteristic of the healer personality is expectancy, specifically positive expectancy. The notion that in the end, everything will work out. Everything will ultimately be okay. Okay. And this can be deceptive 
because I'm not saying that the healer always believes that a person will be totally healed. But what the healer tends to believe is that things will work out for the highest good, no matter what that is. And this is why, in various forms, so many healers that you will encounter are people of faith. Because even though they don't understand something, they believe that something will work out for the best. So, I hope that you enjoy this. By the way, that spells an acronym. <laughs> and the acronym is OG. O-H-G-E-E. -E. And I love that because I think that's also the healer sensibility. That openness. That, oh, isn't that fascinating? That enthusiasm. That sense of wonder. I think that's all part of being a healer. So, OG. Openness. Helpfulness. Gratefulness enthusiasm and exuberance the OG personality in my opinion is the healer personality anyway God bless hope you have a great day talk with you soon